Daf Yomi Tractate Baba Basre Page See, because like in the Chumash, I like doing the I like doing the um, Svartic accent. Bereshit bara Elohim et Hashemayim v'etaaritz. That's more like, you know, more into that. But when it comes to the Gemara, I like more the Israeli Ashkenazic, like Israeli Yeshiv Litvish. Um, it really gives it a good energy. It gets the it gets the it gets the the Gemara flowing. That, that what I would call the Israeli Litvish accent is like this. Loi lambote ovois kochoshiv, the hokomash pilon, the minois silofro, no to helic the hoiro. Almo eret is hoi muzek is he. Yeah, really, I don't bring something to the table. I'm not sure what, but really, it brings something. It really. Anyway, Baba Pastor 119. A. לאוי למבטה או יש כוחו שיב וכו כמה שפלון דבנו יש סלוב כוחו דנות תוכלת בכוי רע על מאות ישרון מחוזק זה The Gemara answer is actually the verse is counting father's houses and by also counting the inheritance of סלוב כוחו's daughters the verse teaches us this that the daughters of סלוב כוחו took the portion of the firstborn due to their father evidently Eretz Yisrael is considered already in possession of one who was entitled to his portion of the land, even before the land was assigned. Although a firstborn son does not take a double portion of the property due to his deceased father, as he does the property his father possessed, it is considered that Hefer possessed the portion that would eventually be assigned to him, and that Salafchad was entitled to a double portion. Omar Mar Veabon im not Lubis Hus Avi Avihem Uis Hus Avi Moisehen Veotania Bishus Atzmon Loikashia Hakaman to Omar Liot Mitzraim Hakaman to Omar the Bai Horets. The Gemara continues its discussion of the Brighter. The master says, and the sons of the spies and of the protesters took portions of the land in the merit of their paternal grandfathers and in the merit of their maternal grandfathers, if those grandfathers were among those who left Egypt. The Gemara asks, but isn't it taught in Ebrita to Sefta 710? The sons of the spies and of the protesters took portions in their own merit. The Gemara answers, this is not difficult. This Brita, which states they took portions in the merit of their grandfathers, is written in accordance with the opinion of the one who says that Eretz Yisrael was divided among those who left Egypt. And that Brita, which states that they took portions in their own merit, is written in accordance with the opinion of the one who says that Eretz Yisrael was divided among those who entered Eretz Yisrael. The Gemara suggests another answer, and if you wish, say instead, this Brita and that Brita are written in accordance with the opinion that asserts that Eretz Yisrael was divided among those who entered Eretz Yisrael, and it is not difficult. This Brita is discussing one who was 20 years old, when the Jewish people entered Eretz Yisrael, and therefore he took a portion in his own merit, and that bright is discussing one who was not 20 years old. The Gemara teaches and Salafcha took an additional portion that he received from Hefer because he was a firstborn. 
and a firstborn takes two portions of inheritance from his father. The Gemara asks, but why was he entitled to the double portion of the firstborn? His portion of land is property merely due to Hefer, as Hefer never actually possessed the land. And the halacha is that a firstborn does not take a double portion of property due to the deceased as he does of property of the deceased possessed. Rabbi Huda says that Shmuel says this clause of the Mishnah is stated with regard to ten pegs and other assorted movable property that Hefer possessed. Robin raises an objection from a Braita. Rabbi Yehuda says the daughters of Tzalafcha took four parts. As it is stated, and ten parts fell to Menashe, Joshua 17, verse 5. Clearly, this is referring to portions of land, and not simply to movable property. Rather, Rabbi says, Eretz Yisrael is considered already in possession of one who was entitled to his portion of inheritance land, even before the land was assigned. Meisve, the Gabar raises an objection for a brighter. Amar Rabbi Chidka, Shimona Shikmoini, Hayali Chaver Mentalmide Rabbi Kivo. The Gemara raised an objection from Brother Rav Chidka, said, Shimon HaShikmoni was my colleague among the students of Rabbi Akiva, and so would Rabbi Shimon HaShikmoni say. Even before turning to God for guidance, Moses, our teacher, knew that the daughters of Tzalafchad were inheritors and that they were entitled to their father's portion as well as his share in Hefer's portion. But he did not know if they were entitled to take a portion of the firstborn of Hefer's portion or not. Rabbi Chitika continues, citing Rabbi Shimon and the, and the Torah portion concerning the laws of inheritances was fit to have been written through God, initiating commandment to Moses without mentioning Tzalafchad's daughters. But by demonstrating their desire for land in Eretz Yisrael, the daughters of Tzalafchad merited that the portion was written through a response to them. that's a major principle in the Shas. And we should get the Gematria. 932. Bechoivo Aide Chayo. Line thirty two. Very nice. This will conclude the uh, yeah.